But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. After 49 years, Israel and the United Arab Emirates will fully normalize their diplomatic relations. They will exchange embassies and ambassadors and begin cooperation across the board and on a broad range of areas, including tourism, education, health care, trade, and security. This is a truly historic moment. This deal is a significant step towards building a more peaceful, secure, and prosperous, peaceful, secure, and prosperous Middle East. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. We are already discussing this with other nations, very powerful, very good nations, and people that want to see peace in the Middle East. So you will probably see others of these, but this is the first one in more than 25 years. And what you'll see now is other countries will come into that deal and you'll have peace in the Middle East. And you'll have peace in the Middle East. The Bible says that before the second coming, the nation of Israel will be revived. That happened in 1948, which is a parallel of how Abraham was born exactly 1948 years after Adam. The Bible says that Jesus will not return until every nation has heard the gospel, and with the advancement of internet technology, they nearly have. Scripture shows that after a time period of 70, major things happened with the people of Israel. In 2018, Trump established an embassy in Jerusalem exactly 70 years after they became a nation in 1948. Bible prophecy says that before the return of Christ, there will be a peace established with the people of Israel before the Antichrist creates chaos. And just today, Trump announced a historic peace plan with Israel. Friends, when prophetic puzzle pieces start to come together, at some point, you start to say, it's not all coincidence. Perhaps this is prophecy. He shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. And in the midst of the week, he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease. And for the overspreading of abominations, he shall make it desolate, even until the consummation. And that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. Personally, I don't find it coincidence that as we approach the dawn of the third millennium since the resurrection, Israel has had a lot of activity. And I would expect there to be a lot more activity in the coming years. Stay tuned.